Welcome to episode seven hundred. Zhang Yong, richest self-made billionaire in Singapore, richest restaurateur in the world. This is an outline of episode seven hundred. There are three reasons we study Zhang Yong. First, he's the richest self-made billionaire in Singapore, with a net worth of fifteen point four billion dollars. Second, he was a poor student and worked many years. As a factory welder, third, he started his hot pot restaurant in 1994 and faced many failures. Let us meet dancing noodles invented by Jiang Yong and dancing noodles. The veggies and noodles were nothing to write home about, but we both enjoyed the dancing noodles because it came with a table side show where the guy hand pulled our noodles at our table. It was very entertaining. He was born in Jiangyan, Sichuan, in 1970. It's a rural area about 40 miles from Chengdu. Jiangyan is important because this is where he started his first hot pot restaurant in 1994. After graduating from high school in 1988, he worked six years as a factory welder. In 1994, he made a big plunge by starting a hot pot restaurant. With only four tables and eight thousand renminbi, or about a thousand U.S. dollars, the twenty-four-year-old faced huge obstacles. Here are his five no's. First, no background or no connection. The same. Second, no education. Third, no experience. Fourth, no money. Fifth, no wife. It would take him. Six years to solve this problem. So, 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 If you are female, and customer can get free shoe shine if you are men. More secrets to his success. He's constantly working on the hidden KPI. KPI is key performance indicator. 来把控这个体系。哦，我觉得还是要从这个，呃，组织人和 KPI 这个上面来入手。呃，我记得有一次，呃，我去。阿里巴巴的时候，马云讲了一个图，他那个图呢是一个冰山，一个三角形画了一个波浪，那个波浪代表了冰呃海平面，上面呢他就写了使命愿景和价值观，呃下面呢他写了组织人 KPI 和文化，他画了这么一个图，后来他就解释到就是说，其实海平面上面的冰山尖上的使命愿景价值观是每个企业都支撑冰山上面的东西，其实海平面的下面的冰山是非常重要的，其实你的组织人和 KPI。和你的企业文化是否合适，才能够支撑出上面这个东西。所以说，呃，我觉得我这么多年其实，呃，一直在做下面的东西，就是一直在调整这个组织人和 KPI。Next, artificial intelligence applied the hot pot robotic restaurant in Beijing. 太早了，哎，我，哎，到了，我拉你走。Next IPO Hong Kong September 2018. Here's a picture of the 47-year-old Jiang Yong and his wife. His wife once worked for his hot pot restaurant. To everyone's surprise, in 2019 he became a Singapore citizen. 
Immediately, he also became the richest Singapore self-made billionaire. 火锅品牌。二十多年过去了，海底捞还是海底捞。然而，原本是四川人的张勇却成了新加坡的首富。作为中国第一大的火锅餐饮品牌，其影响力在国内却不言而喻。但是，为了要实现海底捞的国际化策略，所以在二零一二年的时候呢，张勇就在新加坡开了他的第一家海外分店。据业内人的分析，主要的原因还是新加坡的华人基础，约占了新加坡总人口四分之三的华人，所以更能适应火锅这样的。传统中国美食，而张勇在采访时也透露，海底捞的新加坡分店就是为了给之后海底捞的国际化打下基础。国际化的道路，海底捞已经走了七年，也在新加坡开设了十二家分店。新加坡成为了拥有海底捞海外分店最多的国家。根据二零一九年财报显示，今年上半年海底捞大陆以外以及海外地区的总收入为九千多万元，这只占据了上半年海底捞总营收的约八点二八千。In 2020, with a net worth of 15.4 billion dollars, Zhang Yong is the richest restaurateur in the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Zhang Yong Ten Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.